What you are watching is a group of Mountain View School District's elementary school children learning our heart math tools with Principal Jeff Lagazzino and third grade teacher Kelly Garstang. Jeff and Kelly spent four Saturday mornings teaching these 12 gate students how to use the heart math tools and the freeze framer to control their own physiology and reduce their stress. Our research has found that students are feeling tremendous pressure to perform well on standardized tests, and tools like HeartMath and FreezeFramer provide students with the ability to take control of stressful situations and perform at higher levels. This video is capturing the fourth consecutive class that the students participated in. Up till this point, the students have had nine hours of in-class training. Let's ask Jeff how the students are doing after practicing the HeartMath tools for three weeks. There was a distinct difference just in the second week. Um, the students did report that they practiced the skills over the week and um, even gave examples of when they used the tools. Um, one of the boys was in a debate competition and said he was really nervous beforehand and then he reminded himself that if you know he practiced some of the tools that he could calm himself down and he ended up winning the debate. So he felt really good about that. I know that the first day that we, we taught them quick coherence, uh, there was a, a heightened um, energy in the air. They were excited about the technology and, and we had them just explore the technology uh, initially just to see if they could give any idea of what they thought it meant, what they were seeing and so they just did observations. But there was a lot of excitement. They wanted to see what are these other games? What is, what's the rainbow? What's this? But then we taught them the tool while they were sitting at their tables. And there was a intense sense of calm within just moments across the whole class. And we asked them to reflect on that. It's like, you know, do, you, do you sense any changes in the room? And they said, it's a lot quieter. It's a lot more relaxing. Uh, it's calmer. You could feel it. It was palpable. I think the group does have an effect. They do have an effect on each other. Initially, all 100% of the students were 100% low in their coherence. Um, by the end of the first class, some of them were starting to get some blue. Then when they started the second um, Saturday, they were starting in the blue maybe a little bit of the red range and by the end of that class they were moving into the green and now there's several of them that are very successful that that immediately start in the blue or in the green and can maintain themselves there. The freeze framer is an important tool because it provides the students with instant feedback on how well they are moving into coherency. We started them off with just looking at the, the heart rhythm patterns um, the first week and then we introduced the metal game at the very end of the class. The games are much more appealing to the students because it, it, it takes their focus away from looking at their heart rhythm because that will tend to stress some of them out. They like the games because they don't see that and they've reported that it, it's much easier for them to get higher coherence scores if they're playing the games and if they're watching their heart rate rhythm. One of the main reasons Jeff and Kelly created this workshop was to help these GATE students learn to perform without worry and stress. Well, in the regular classroom, my kids use it a lot. Also on the playground, they use it. And when they're in conflict resolution and they're upset, they're beginning to recognize their own emotions. And even though they can't always control things that happen to them, they're learning that they can control how they react to those things. So that's been really valuable for my kids. The teachers at Jeff's school have all received the HeartMath training. Let's find out the impact that the training had on them probably the biggest effect for them was on themselves that um, especially in terms of testing which is stressful for everyone that um, by practicing the tools themselves they were calmer and so they know that that calmness then extended to their students and helped make the whole testing situation uh, less unpleasant. Now that they've learned to use the tools, I think they're applying them in their lives and they're thinking of ways that they can um, 
really bring this to life in their in the classroom at home and applying it more. Before they were just learning how to use the techniques. Now they've understood it. I think they've got it, and they are beginning to see the power of it in real life. I like it because it really works when you're stressed out. What changes have you noticed in the last month? Well, I haven't been that stressed anymore. It's really helped me. Can you describe how it's helping you? Well, when I think of something that gets me mad, I just remember my breathing and my appreciation, and that works. I tutor some kids on, on Wednesdays, and it, it helps me by not stressing out a lot. And, and uh, how does that make you feel when you're not stressing? Um, it makes me feel calm. I learned how to relax in any situation. Is it helping you already? Yes. Can you give me a specific example? Um, before, if my sister asked any question, I just used to get mad with her. But now I calm myself down and I'm nice to her. I'm pleased with how the, the parents responded to uh, what we were teaching the students. I mean, it was a very positive response and they were very interested. I think that these tools are um, becoming more and more important as life becomes more and more stressful. <laughs> they sense it themselves and I think they're very appreciative that we have these opportunities for their students to, to learn these skills.